So we're going to find out if we truly understand how to calculate the volume of prisms. We found out that we, in order to find the volume, we have to take, uh, we have to find the area of the cross section, and we times that by the length. So let me just quickly write it down: that the volume is the cross, oh, double S cross sectional area times the length. Now that is barely readable. I understand that, but as long as you understand that the volume is. Well, a prism has two of those sides which are identical and which are parallel. And hopefully you see, well, those are this side and then at the back over there. Yeah, like it's like a house, you see that? So if I take, if I find the area of one of these sides, then I times it by the length, which is the distance between those two end sides, if you like. So that's going to be eight. So the length is eight. Let me put that there already, times eight. Eight. I'm just going to find the area and let me draw that house for you. I'll, I'll do that on a separate piece of paper because otherwise, let me get a piece of paper. Um, otherwise, it gets a little bit confusing. The house, let me sketch that. It's like this, and I'll just sketch the whole, whole thing for you. Uh, it's like that. It says five, eight, seven, and then twelve. Okay. Now, how do I find the area of that house? Well, what kind of a figure is it? Well, it's a compound figure. Yeah? So if I, if I cut it up like this, I'll have two parts. Part one and part two. Now, let me find the area of part one first. What is that? That is a rectangle, it looks like. Eh? Five times, how much is that? Five times, can you look at that? Five times. Some of you are going to say it's 12, but it's not 12. And 12 is the complete height of the house, this length is 7, yeah, 5 times 7, which is 35, okay, then the area of that second part, that is a triangle, and the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, base times height divided by 2, where the base and the height make that angle of 90 degrees, so base is 5 times, now how high is this triangle? Now the height of the whole house is 12 and this side is 7, so how high is my triangle? So that's going to be 12 minus 7, do we agree with that? So that's going to be 5, okay, that's how you should look at these questions. So base times height divided by 2, so 25 divided by 2 which is 12 and a half. So what is the total area of my cross section? Yeah? So that is one and two together, and the rectangle plus the triangle. So that's gonna be 35 plus 12 and a half, which is 47 and a half. Okay, let me go back to the initial paper where we said that the volume is the area of the cross section, 47 and a half, we just found out times the length, uh, which is the distance between those two similar sides. 47.5 times 8, you can use a calculator for that if you like, um, it equals to 380. There's no unit given, so let's just say units, and we're talking about volume, yeah, so it's units to the power 3. So just to revise how do we find the volume of a prism, well we take the area of the cross section, yeah, and then we multiply that by the length. So 47 and a half, the area of this compounded cross uh, section times eight, yeah, the distance between those two similar sides. Okay, all the best. I'll have another example video for you. Hope to see you there.